There's no way Larry Kotlikoff wrote this article. No way. Even though it has a name attached to it. I'm uh I'm actually kind of pissed off, not gonna lie to you. This this is this is a weak ass article and it ticks me off. And I'm gonna go into it in a different video because I, uh, I, I, the, the level of absurdity in an article that has, uh, a, a quote written by Larry Kotlikoff is, uh, it bogs my mind. And I, uh, I tell you, I don't, is this what, ha I don't know. Does like, remember when Sonia Sotomayor said this idiot, the idiocy about the, the children and the hostels and the stuff, there's no way she came up with that. I mean, she, I mean, her scribes, do they tell her, I mean, we know they have clerks on Supreme court. Do uh do professional writers have people that actually write the articles for them and they just sign their names to it, you know, against scribes? Um, it makes you wonder because this is such a piece of tripe. Is that the right word? Tripe? Trite, I guess, is a, is a trite piece by... I can't tell you the level of respect I have for Larry Kotlikoff and how reading through this article that one of y'all sent to me just... It, it's it, it's painful to read, man. I'm, I'm sitting, I, I can't believe it. And again, I'll go into it in a different video. I just, uh, I don't know, is that how it works? Like when people get a certain level of uh, notoriety that they don't even need to do their own research anymore, they just have scribes that do this stuff for them? Um, I don't know. And you know, it's funny because I do follow the ink of the guy, I haven't watched their videos for a while, but the guys from the income school, uh, who talk about how you can monetize websites and stuff. And I like that stuff. Um, but what they do is they'll hire out people to do the, the grunt work for them and the research um, to put the article on their webpage. And, uh, you know, ideally that is well-researched. But these are just people who write. They're not experts in the field. And, you know, they just do the, the research and they have, what they call it? What did my brother call it? He called the staircase method, I think is what it's called. Where, you know, one guy says the seven reasons to retire early. They'll have the eight reasons to retire early. Then the next guy will have the 15 reasons to retire early. It's just this uh, arms race about how many reasons to retire early. And I guess it's attractive to people. I, I guess there's some uh, mechanism says if I have 99 reasons to retire early, you'll read that as opposed to 15. I, I don't get that. But anyway, the point being is all they're doing is they're hiring out people from uh, Fiverr, essentially. And they say, hey. Come up with the article and we'll paste it. And they, I even think they allow the author to, to uh, attribute in his byline. But they want the uh, revenue on the website. I got no qualm with that. It's, you know, they're basically, they're paying people to do the research for them. And you're reading the article uh, instead of doing your own research for having the research done for you too. Um, but the problem with that is it's just like, who's actually, it's like ghost written essentially. Who's writing? And I don't ghost write anything. I don't go through anything. I hired this girl out of uh, Germany, and I liked her to uh, take some of my videos and put them in verb. Um, it, but it didn't come across. I, I, and I paid her probably three thousand bucks, and she gave me a hundred articles, and I just it did not. I it, it had to. I can't have it inauthentic. I can't. It did not come across like me at all. I, mean, I read them, and she did a great job, and I highly recommend Marcel. I can't remember her name. Marcel. I'm drawing a blank. But anyway, she was great. But the problem was, it's just I'm reading them. It, it's not, it's not me, if that makes sense. And and I couldn't post those up on the website. I mean, so what I ended up doing is I ended up saying, okay, yeah, you know, I basically just rewrote the whole thing. Now it still gave me the impetus to write some art, but it's just I don't like to write all that much on a blog. I just like doing videos. And um, anyway, and that was about the only level of inauthenticity I've ever gone down. I said, all right, well, if she writes it that sounds like me, I'll post it. But it didn't come close. And I don't blame her. I, you know, she had to watch the videos, essentially transcribe them, and uh, and put them in. You know, I'm so off. I go off tangent. It was, it was a tough, tough task, but it was money well spent. And I realized that's not how I wanted to do. It. I thought it'd be easy, like, hey, Marcel, whatever her name was, you know, take these videos that I do and put them into a verbs or words, and I'll uh, you know transcribe them. Essentially, I just post them on my website as blog posts, but it it didn't work. And there's a reason for that, because when I read them, I said, yeah, it's totally not, <laughs> that's not me. I can see that a mile away. And, you know, as such, I don't like the inauthenticity. But anyway, going, and I'm not saying, look, I hope Larry Kotlikoff didn't write this article. Um, because I can't believe it. I just, it's, it's, it's weak, man. It's weak how uh, how he just missed the stuff. And and if he did write it, what's going on, Larry? Uh, what's going on, man? I, I Did you not? read the articles you link to and uh, i don't want to get i want to do it next um 
frustrates doing that. All right, stay tuned. I'm going to just destroy this article here in two seconds, and it, it kills me because, like I said, Larry has been a big influence on my financial planning practice, and uh, this is just a swing and a miss with the bases loaded, man. This is Yaz popping out against the, the Yankees in the uh, 1978 playoffs with a guy on third to end the game after the Red Sox were up like seven games going to September. Oh, it's the same thing. All right, we'll see you.